Hello everyone, and welcome to Vane, a game by friend and foe. This is a new company that is built from developers from games like Killzone and The Last Guardian, I think Battlefield. A bunch of developers made a new company and this is one of the first games they're doing. Uh, there's another game, Dangerous Men, but I don't think it's out yet. Um, but yeah, this is... I don't know what... I, I think we're going to feel some stuff with this one. It, it sort of reminds me of rhyme in the way it presents itself. I don't think it's going to play like rhyme. I don't think it's going to hit the same beats as rhyme, but it, it it just gives me a rhyme feel and rhyme was extraordinary. So I'm hoping this will be as well. Okay, straight into the action then, no delays. It's a very cool looking game. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not okay. Okay, not that way? Good. This way looks good. This this way is great. We don't need to go that way. That way's, that way's boring. That's, that doesn't interest me. This way, now this way, this safe looking path. Safe-ish looking path. Now <laughs> that's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I I get the feeling this is the kind of game that's going to try and emotionally break us, and I I'm really excited. Oh, oh this music! Oh man, getting a Tron Blade Runner kind of vibe. I don't know if our main character has a name. I guess we'll find out. If uh, if not, I think I have a name for them. But we'll leave that all leave that be for a, for a bit. That was rude. Can a girl take shelter? I like the loading screen. It's very simple, but well, I mean, it's not the animated it, but like you know, what I mean, like it's, it just it looks it looks really just really nice. Hmm. <laughs> Vain. Is this us? Can we control? We can. Oh hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. We absolutely can control this. Yeah. Okay, this is weird and surreal. I like it. I like it a lot. It's a little bit awkward to control at times, but I think it's more just I'm not used to it yet. Ah, okay. Yeah, I gotcha. Build up speed. Don't flap quickly. 
Interesting. So where do I want to go? I've got a huge world to explore, but I think the trench is probably a good starting point. Because uh, everywhere else looks to be a bit barren, a bit deserted. So, um, I don't know why I'm getting like Shadow of the Colossus vibes, which is weird because it's very much not that. Not yet, at least. So, yeah. I sense I'm going the right way. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what makes you think that. Could it be the uh, the camera change? Could be. It's very cool. Flying as a bird is pretty fun, I must say. Yeah, so I really don't know what's gonna happen in this game. The the intro is oh oh well then the intro wasn't really giving me a uh, a clue as to uh, as to what's going on specifically. But oh oh that's cool. Okay, that's really cool. I like that. I like the reflection in the water as well. It's really pretty. Hmm. It's a very pretty place. I found a vein. Don't know the correct way to land on this, but. There you go. Huh. I like the little shimmy you do. That's cute. That is cute. Huh. Interesting. And that points me towards where I need to go. Huh. Alright then, this way I guess. Follow my friends. So what's the relation to the to the bird and and the girl? It was a girl at the beginning, right? I could be wrong. Um, the uh, I can't tell if we're a raven or a crow. We look similar. I'm not uh, a perfect judge of differences of birds, so I apologise. But uh, I, I like controlling as the bird. It's certainly different. I am. I can. I can feel the last guardian vibe from it. Like I can. I can. Yeah, I can definitely feel that. The last guardian was interesting because narratively, it told a story that I. It told. The thing is, I, I can't say my gripes with the game without absolutely spoiling all of it. Like, <laughs> and basically, just the way it told its story is something I don't like narratively. Um, so it was kind of like a weird like. It was it was interesting and the game was fun, but the story didn't grip me as much as it could have because, like, it sort of spoiled itself for me. Um, in a sense. Um, but the, uh, the... The gameplay was really interesting in respect for... Uh, was it Trico? I think that was the dog's name. It... 
he didn't really do everything I wanted, and that's very accurate of pets um, or animals that you befriend. Not all of them are pets. So what exactly are we doing with the ball? Because I can I can see the ball. Don't know what you want me to do with it though. Can I uh Can I sit down on here? Can I perch on here? Not quite. Maybe I'm not supposed to be there at all. Like, it occurs to me, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just supposed to move on. Ah. I think we've arrived at the next vein. Yeah, it looks like it. I like that the bird slows down when it gets closer to objects, like it's trying to avoid them. It's nice. It's a nice touch. It's hard to tell if I'm making progress at times. It's... It's odd. But I like what the game is doing. And usually, like, in a, in a playthrough, you know, for people who want the commentary, it's my job to, you know, provide it and talk about what the game's doing right, what it's doing wrong. Make a joke every now and again the joke fails and then I have to make another one and that fails as well and then people don't subscribe. It's a good job. <laughs> but point being, um, I had something about this game. I'm sort of in like a tranquil, calm state of just traveling. I don't, I'm not really, I'm not talking, but I don't feel I need to. There's something very soothing about watching this bird travel. Oh, I think I understand. You need more birds for this vein. Oh, I think that's the that's the trick. I think that's what it's putting down. Because there's another one over there, you can see it glistening. I was unsure what the game wanted of me, but I, I get it. I see. Hello, Brethren. It is a fascinating game. Its frame rate isn't perfect all the time. But it is... It is interesting. It is not a cheap game though. In terms of pounds, I can't speak for dollars, it's seventeen ninety nine. And yeah, that's oh hello, I'm just inside you. Um 
Yeah, that's not cheap. Hmm. Whoa. I don't know how long this is. I don't know if... If that price is... Viable, I guess. Justified. We'll see. We'll see what the game does. But it's... It, it's, it's interesting. It's an experience right now. I mean, that's... There are games like this, like Rhyme or like Journey, for our own experience. But they also tell a fascinating story that's... Obviously, there is a clear story, but it's also open to interpretation. Um, rhyme more so than Journey. Rhyme is very much a, a very specific story, but you can interpret it in different ways. Um, Journey more... It's kind of ambiguous. You have to work out the message yourself. This game, I do not know. I think I need to find one more vein, or one more flock of flock of birds to uh, to turn the vein. I do not know where they are. I think I was on the right path. Because the camera seems to trail behind me when I'm, I'm going the right way. That's what it sort of implies, at least. Maybe not. I don't know. Oh, well, actually. There's one right there. I feel like I've been to this one, though. Maybe not. No, I have. Yeah, I have. I've been to this one. So it's... Not quite the right way. It's very easy to record it all and take the experience away from you. Because it is an experience, that's the whole point of this game. The game is designed to be an experience for the player to enjoy. But I don't know if I want to take that experience away if this is something that interests you. Because I recognise this game is not for everybody. I also recognise that there are some people who are desperate to play this and don't want it spoiled. And don't want to spoil it for themselves. So I think doing an hour or so of the game is possibly a better idea than doing all of it. Because, as I say, this is this is a story that I feel could could go places, and yeah, it's it will be an experience. I have absolutely no idea where I need to go, though. I will say that. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm getting real Jakku vibes from uh, The Force Awakens. Not sure why. Just the location, I guess. The way it looks. But a little lost. Been looking around for a while, looking for another uh, another set of birds to move the vein a little more. I might have moved it as much as I can for all I know, I'm unsure. Well, we're saying that, we've stumbled across a cave. This might be, uh, this might be important. It's pretty cool though. 
I like this. It's nice. It's interesting. Like, like flying around as this bird is really, really interesting. I, I actually really like it. I think it's uh. I think it's really cool. I, it's definitely not for everyone. It's not. It's not a game for everyone. But it's. It's just really fascinating. Huh. Look at this place. Looks like there was some stairs, some bridges maybe, at one point. Take it I'm the only bird in here. <laughs> Doesn't really feel like a the kind of place that, that people would reside in. Yeah, didn't think so. It's cool though. Really atmospheric. And there's a part of me that wants to go deeper into the cave. But I have no idea what this leads to. If it's progress, if it's just exploration. Oh, hello. I think I found something. It's with the golden leaves. Whoa! Okay. That was really cool. Whoa. This is a fascinating game. wonder, are they really, really heavy, or if, I mean, no, I guess they're not heavy, it's probably, have you just forgotten how to walk, it's like doing physiotherapy, trying to relearn, it's hard, it hurts a lot at first, but, yeah, I like the, it's almost like watercolours, it's really, really pretty. It's a really cool looking cave. Our star reminds me of another game, but I can't quite think what it is. It's just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So what gender am I, is it? Can you tell from here? Not really. Could be male or female, hard to say. But, yeah, it's very cool. This is a very, very cool area. I think after this chapter, however far away that may be, however long that may take, it's a good stopping point. It's a teaser of what can be. I really hope this game delivers in telling a really fulfilling story, a really interesting story, because I, I, I believe it can. I really do. I think it's really cool. And I think the 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 movement that the game provides through through the bird and through this this person. I mean, they're one and the same at this point. 
But I think it's, I think it's really interesting. I think it feels really, honestly, really good. It's, 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 it's awkward in a good way. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but it, it kind of, it feels good to be awkward. I think the, the biggest stumble or stumbling point this game has had is its, I guess, almost lack of communication of where to go. But at the same time, that isn't a problem. Because the whole point is to explore and to find where you're going. I guess I want to go up to the top of there. Um, like you, you want to explore. You want to see if there are secrets around here. You want to see what's in each corner of the world. Because that's, that's the whole point. You're... You're not just searching for a, a way to progress, you're searching for answers surrounding the world, surrounding the character, surrounding everything. And not all of those answers are necessarily going to be within the main progression. There might be little side things that you want to explore and want to discover. That's really cool. Um, let's say Rhyme is a game that does that. Among the Sleep did it. Um, Two very fun games. Um, not particularly long. Rhyme is longer than Among the Sleep. Among the Sleep is like four hours, I think. Um, maybe not even that, actually. Maybe a little bit less. Wasn't that long. Very fun to play, though. Very interesting. Not a massive fan of horror, but it, it did its it did its job well. It, it's, uh, it wasn't a horror game per se. Oh, interesting. That looked a bit weird. Um, yeah, yes, um, I feel like the animation, uh, can I stop pushing you? I'm actually not doing any of this, it's just sort of doing it on its own, I'm trying to break out of it, okay cool, um, I am stuck in this? It's actually not letting me out of this, this mode. Uh, and now I've glitched the camera. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I, I, I'm, I'm pressing every button. I swear. And I know that the game, oh my god. I know that the game only saves, um, after each chapter. I'm so, oh man. I'm so sorry to the developers. I don't. I didn't want this to happen because I hate showing any glitches, especially within indie devs, because their game, st the, st the game starting out is so important that it does well, and especially if it shows promise, which this game does. But it does seem to be a little under the weather. Under the weather vein, but it... Because I'm... I'm... I'm pushing everything to get out of this. I'm... I was stuck in a pushing animation, and now I'm stuck in the wall, and I can't get out. I wish I could. But I can't. I'm really sorry. I don't... I don't want this to be... The lasting impression. And I, I do believe this could be really cool. But yeah, this is unfortunately what's happened. So, thank you very much for watching. If you're interested in purchasing the game, it's on PS4. Um, 17 in terms of pounds, dollars, I can't say. Maybe 22 Um, I don't know. But, yeah. Hopefully, uh... Hopefully, if this interests you, you'll pick it up and enjoy it. But I have no idea what it will be like beyond here. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.